Tis the week before Christmas, but it might be one of the busiest we've had in a little while because the weather is finally ready to cooperate. Let's get some field work done. So today's job is agitating the manure pit. We finally have basically frozen at night, thawed out in the day, which should make for good manure pumping weather. Ryan is coming tomorrow. They'll drag line kind of a couple of fields here. What we've got to do is agitate this, stir this up so it's nice, consistent liquid, and it'll be easy for them to pump tomorrow. So let's get it in. GoPro got a little shit on it. Oops. That's always the trick is figuring out, remembering which button goes which direction. I don't know if you can see this cement truck driver. They're pumping the last of the walls over there. I don't think he'd appreciate a gust of this, so we'll just take her nice and easy for a few minutes. Nothing like a new heifer calf to start off the morning. Now, to be honest, we've actually skipped a day because the weather didn't completely cooperate. It didn't freeze as hard as it was supposed to. So the pumping of manure got pushed back to this morning, which actually worked well because I felt like total crap yesterday in the fact that I just slept all day and headache and just one of those colds. So fortunately, everything worked out. So. It's pumping manure day today, as well as backfilling day. Calvin and crew are back in and tidying up all around the front of what will be the new barn. Then they're going to work a little later at backfilling all of the manure pit. That'll be a very, very nice job to have done. And Ryan has arrived to work at pumping manure out. So. All in all, things are happening today.
it definitely gets dark early, but the thing is that no matter how dark it is or how late it goes, we've got to get that ground worked that got manure on it. Challenge is Friday, it's going to warm right up and rain. So we've got three fields that need to be worked. We better get at that. job we got to get done because it has thought out now um, is put some new stakes in a couple of spots up the driveway as you can see we continue to have the issue of certain trucks falling off heck I even had at the end of the driveway one of the delivery drivers it was just delivering a package to the house they ran straight over one of the markers and we're like half in the ditch. It was actually quite surprising they got themselves out. Um, and then the other side, they completely smocked every marker on that side. So clearly, little yellow topped, you know, markers were not good enough. We're gonna try harder to make them at, at least a little more difficult to run straight over. per usual this is a bigger job than I thought what happened so the front end of a truck went in here he backed in ran over the markers and then the front tire went down in here and what he's done now that I see is he shifted all that asphalt down into the ditch so in fact he had this like blocked off it was blocked off, so now at least the water's running. So before we put the stakes in, I think we're gonna have to get the loader out and see if we can pull some of this asphalt back up.
Well, if I was doing this again, <laughs> I would leave the mud alone. I should have known better. It is way too wet to do anything with. So now it looks like crap, but at least we can easily get some stakes in it. We'll see if the drivers can avoid some of these. A couple more up at the front, but otherwise, ha, I think we got mark marked out for a week or two anyway.